Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Um, I had the chance to take this picture yesterday. So beautiful day, and uh, we walk around a little bit. And um, Sydney, it's gorgeous. And this is Bondi Bay and the Iceberg Club. Club. I had a, I read a book before that described a scene on that pool. So it was cool, just seen in person. Um, so this is a, a lot of fun so far. I'm gonna lose it up a little bit for this afternoon, and we're gonna shift gears. We're gonna move from the patients that are missing or about to be missing out the teeth, and look at that patient that's gonna be missing just one tooth, or it's missing just one tooth. And that too, if it's on aesthetic zone. And can you help me? So the patient will show in your office, normally on a Friday afternoon, Ryan, say that my daughter's getting married tomorrow and uh, my tooth broke when I was eating bread. The worst thing for dentists, bread. Patients always break things eating bread, right? Bread, uh, yeah, really soft bread. <laughs> really soft bread, right? So here we have a decision to make. The tooth can be present there too. And now, are we gonna attempt to remove the tooth that cannot be restored, place an implant? Are we gonna remove the tooth, put something inside the socket, come back later? Are we gonna remove the tooth, not do anything, and come back during the healing process and place an implant? Or are we gonna wait for the complete healing of the ridge and come back? This type of approach has been documented by different groups, especially by the ITI. And here, you're on Adam Hamilton and Franz Lambert uh, with the ITI Treatment Guide 14. They dove really deep on this pool, on this topic. And I highly recommend you to be familiar with that. Order your book and you will see there uh, many things that can help on your practice on this topic. One of the things that you're gonna find there is this decision tree. 